try everything. I've always been that way, just a curious, a curious child. When I did this, and I did it, I hope you guys saw the video. I did her. Get a kind of 3D, really, two layers, really two layers of the uh, little bucket down there, too. I decided that I wanted her to be a rubber stamp, and recently I joined a group, a rubber stamp group, it's called the Carving Consortium, and I'll post information on it, but it's just some wonderful mentors who love to mentor people, they're old school, this is an old art form. And they carved, and they told me, they took me under their wing, and they told me what to do. And this is my very first stamp, and I'm going to try it. They tell me to, to uh, take an impression often to kind of see what you're lacking. I'm going to take an impression using some uh, archival ink, because I want it to really show up. And that way, you get to see what you're lacking and what you need to go back and do but really and truly if you use this this is called uh this comes from big Blick ready cut plate as you cut away the gray you'll kind of see how the stamp is gonna look i have to go in and detail on that on that uh vase or vase however you pronounce it but let's see how i've done so far because if it, if it works, I know that when I stamp her, I'm going to um, use different colors. I'll stamp her skin in brown. You know, I'll just paint, paint the stamp before, you know, with the colors I want to use. Not bad for the first time. I hope this encouraged you guys to give this a try. You don't have nothing to lose. I think this little easy cut pad was a dollar. But can you imagine? Now I have to go in and work on her around the neck area. Really, it might just be a matter of making sure I ain't get there. I made her faceless because her head is so little. I don't know if I could get detail. But knowing me, I'll play with her at nighttime. And honey, I'm going to perfect this. I don't believe that there's nothing we can't do. And as a Christian, I heard all my life, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And I believe that. So there you go. And if you look back here, this is stuff. I should have cut all that away. I cut it. But this is cool. You know I'm going to work this because, honey, I could do a trim on this stamp. Oh, please be encouraged to try this. Not all the time. I realize I couldn't mass produce these. I wouldn't sit down and cut them. But I would take special orders. If you have something you'd like turned into a stamp, I would do that and charge a fee, and then you could stamp it over and over again. Oh, gosh, I am so encouraged, and I hope that you guys do, too. This is something very easy to do. Now, you get five to five of these and the handle, and I bought extra handles for like 10 bucks. This is called the Speedball. Now, I just changed to a smaller how much time I got? 351. I changed to a smaller tool so that I can go in and kind of detail. Now, the ladies told me, and the gentlemen, there's some guys too, when you're doing small stuff, make sure you got good light and move the, move the stamp as, instead of moving the tool. And don't touch me, honey. These things are sharp. Oh, let me just say, people ask me, why do you have all these horrible gloves? Well, I don't know if you can see it here, because I don't want to show people, because it's horrible. I burn my hand so bad. First degree burns, 90% of my hand is burned. You can see some of it right there. That's the, I'm not modest about it, because it happened. It was a fire. And um, I thank God I could use my hand. If you ever saw this hand, you'd think, how on earth can she use it? It's because I can do all things. Through Christ who gives me strength. And I'm left handed. I was determined I was going to use this hand. 
So uh, you just have to accept the things that happen in life. And, and um, I went through a period of grief. You know, as a woman, we like to be beautiful. And um, it didn't last long. I allowed myself to grieve, but I did not stay there. Because I had a choice. Either I could stay there. I could get up and... Yeah, that's why I started the comedy thing up again. I thought I wasn't going to be a reason why. Hey, hell, I was going to have to make a living. And I make a living. I have made a living doing comedy. And uh, just in case I had to resurrect it. But now I just do both because I love it and because I want to. I don't have a reason why. Now, when you give in detail like this, like I didn't get the detail on her arm. It's because I hadn't went in here and just removed the layer. It's that's enough. You don't have to go too deep for detail. But, uh, and then this is her breast that was coming around. I don't know what the heck. How did it stamp? You can barely see it. So I have some detail to work on, and it can be perfected. And I'll continue to work. Even with her arm here, it didn't show up because I hadn't detailed it. Can you guys see what I'm doing? So I have this hand. I always have a glove on hiding that tattoo. I did that when I was 15 years old. I was a runaway for a while, and some guy branded me. And my mother, every time she looked at that tattoo, beat the hell out of me. So I'm not going to apologize because I caught enough witness for it. You know, I already paid my dues. And I'm sure I could have gotten it removed. But you know, it don't bother me. It's not like I was going to go out and try to get a job and somebody was going to not hire me based on a tattoo, although I believe I didn't get a couple of jobs. But I don't want to work for nobody, please. I can't imagine me working for somebody. I have worked for people, but not for long. Now, I'll clean the house because it's just me, me and the animals. Now, I tell people, I'll clean your house, but you cannot be there worrying my nerves. You're going to have to go somewhere. She said, well, I'll be at work. I say, well, good. I'll take a job like that. I don't want nobody standing over me worrying my damn nerves. I know how I am. All right, let's stamp it one more time, and then I'm going to cut it off so that I'll... Uh, I can get it uploaded. But I hope that this encouraged you guys to give it a try. What the hell you got to lose? You know, if you mess up, you do something else. Well, that's getting better, and I got to work on it. I got to do something about her face right now. She don't look like a heel with bead. I got to. Uh, but for the first time, don't you think that's pretty good? Are you encouraged? Did I do it in another color? Well, I got to clean this stamp up. All right, I'm going to cut it off so that you guys can get this information. I'll put information about the carving because I can't say that word. I'm not going to even try. I'll put it up there so you guys can see it. Thanks. Bye.